weeks, but the two million people in the UK who belong to choirs have missed the experience of singing together. This weekend, thousands of them will gather online for a sing-along of Handel's Messiah, which lasts for several hours. John Kay has the story. If I could ask everybody, if possible, to stand up for me. What would Handel have made of this? It was Mark Strawn's idea. Missing his friends in a Dorset choir during lockdown, he suggested singing online. Music is more than just notes on a piece of paper. There's a feeling of singing with your friends. There's a feeling of going to the same place to be together. There's a feeling of the performance where you're doing it together with other people. This virus has taken all that away. Three, one. And the Meet choir master Ben England. Lord. Just make sure you're not going. Hello. He agreed to lead nightly hello. rehearsals of the Messiah. So hello to Andrew. They expected a couple of dozen to sign in. From Perth, my goodness. But soon there were three and a half thousand. Andrew and Nora are twins. He's in Berkshire. She's in Yorkshire, but the choir means they can be together despite very good, lockdown. Very good. What's it like singing on your own with headphones on to a computer? It might be a little bit odd, but knowing that Andrew's might, might be 300 miles away, but he's singing at the same time as me and three and a half thousand other people just makes it good. This has just been a fantastic way of still getting that togetherness and still getting the fun that you get from seeing the Messiah. It's a plus in, a, in the middle of a very big minus. And the Lord is a... The self-isolation choir is now so big, it's not technically possible to stream the final performance live. So on Sunday night, they'll all sing along to this three-hour backing track. Isolated, no more. John Kay... BBC News. Thank you, everybody. Now, time for a look at the weather.